you can very easily connect a flash drive to your new iPhone, the iPhone 15, and you need these dongles in order to achieve that. This one is made by Apple and it is highly recommended for Apple products. This one is made by Google and the other one, the black one, is from Samsung. After connecting the flash drive on the iPhone USB-C port, you need to go inside the file application in order to see the flash drive name. The name of the flash drive that I have connected is SD. This is the one that you can see. It looks like a small hard drive. When I long press on the flash drive, I have the ability to rename it, get the information of the flash drive, the capacity and all that. And also I can completely erase the flash storage and have it blank. The only thing that is missing in this whole process is the eject button, which is going to eject the USB flash storage in order to remove it very safely without damaging the drive. As we do not have that option, maybe Apple has made sure that no drive is going to get damaged after you remove it without formally ejecting the USB drive. Using the USB-C to USB-A dongle from Google is going to be the same as using the Apple USB-C to USB-A. It is basically going to do the same thing. You can plug any kind of USB device on the other end and it is going to show up inside your file application. If it is another device like a keyboard, a trackpad or a gaming controller, it is going to work directly on your iPhone without showing anything inside the file application. As far as the USB-C to USB-A dongle made from Samsung, it is going to behave the same as the previous two. If you have a flash drive that is directly going to connect by USB-C, you simply need a cable that is going to connect the iPhone to that flash drive. Here I have a 2TB 990 Pro from Samsung. Here also it is the same thing, I can go inside the information of that flash drive. The main benefit of this flash storage is going to be the speed. This one has speed above 500 megabyte per second for writing and reading. This one is very fast. If you want to connect multiple devices at the same time, you need multiple output from the USB port from your iPhone. For that, the best option is going to be the USB-C hub. Some storage are not going to work with the iPhone. It is the same for this one. This one is 4 terabyte. 990 Pro and it doesn't show up inside the file application. The drive has too much capacity for this iPhone. Everything I said applies to the iPhone with USB-C port at the bottom. Subscribe and I will see you next time.